completed October Tokyo Treat unboxing. For those of you that don't know, Tokyo Treat is a subscription box that is full of treats, goodies, drinks, some DIY kits. Tokyo Treat offers free shipping around the world, but you need to take into account the exchange rate for whatever part of the world you're in. So that's why it's roughly between 45 and 50 Australian. There are three different kind of boxes you can get, a small, a regular, and a premium. I actually get the premium, so in the premium you actually get between 13 to 17 items. Two of those will be DIY kits, and you will actually get one kind of drink. Now it has been a really long time since I've done one of these, and so I really want to get into it, but I did want to show you guys how bad this box was. The corners are all smooshed. It got really smushed over here as well. This guy has seen something. Let's get into this guy. Handy box cutter. So here is the first look for the October box. There will be a sheet on top, so I'll take that off for you. I just love the surprise of not looking. I really do. Here we go, got some goodies. Just for your info, here is the card that comes with it. So this is the front. It's actually on like more flimsier kind of paper this time. It's previously been on thicker card, but these are the items inside the box. I will have hopefully received all of these. Now it's time to taste. These come in the regular box and they're called chocolate decorn. This is a premium version of caramel corn, but with a surprising and lovely chocolatey twist. Enjoy the salty and sweet flavors meshed together in perfect harmony in this amazing snack. <laughs> but I do mind if I do. Whoa, that is a really strong smell. It smells more like coffee than it does like chocolate. Oh my god, it's so gross. <laughs> it looks so gross. It looks like a poo. <laughs> yeah, it's a really strong smell. It doesn't taste that bad actually. The consistency is like you're eating a cheesel. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. I thought it would be gross. The chocolate isn't very overpowering, the smell is. And so that's kind of like an off-putting thing. It's kind of like a good mix between the salty and the sweet flavors. It's actually not that bad. I could eat these. So I'd probably give these maybe like a two and a half out of five. The next item is a DIY kit. This comes in the premium box and it's the Meiji's Real Grains Jelly Kit. A unique candy kit is made from sugar, granular baubles and cream. We think you will revel in this decadent snack very much. Simply use the packets to create little drops into water, sift out the bubbles, drain and mix with the foamy and sweet cream provided. So I look forward to making that video. It sounds delish. The next item looks really cute. This comes in the small box. It's the Ponsky Ponchi Fried Snack. These delicious fried morsels will suit any occasion with a sweet and savory flavor mixed with a unique texture. Many pieces can be popped into your mouth until you're willing to stop snacking. Enjoy with friends or don't. <laughs> I don't share all these with my friends. Unless it's really disgusting. Then I like to make them eat it. Hmm, I can't really place that smell. It's a mixture of like plain chips, maybe the sea salt variety. It's just this square, like crispy, golden kind of thing with what I can picture as salt on it. Let's try this. I'm not sure about that flavor. It tastes like caramel. The texture, which is like a really hard version of a cheesel. Kind of, maybe it kind of tastes like the caramel corn that you can get, but the different consistency. You don't, even though I see the salt on it, I don't really get that flavor at all. Look, if I had to eat them, I would, but I wouldn't be choosing to eat these if I could. <laughs> so I'm probably gonna give these a one, only because I really like the packaging. I think it's cute. The next item. It is a Naramari stirring up rain. This traditional sweet you will often see in the shops surrounding all the festivals in Japan. This sticky liquid can become a solid and be eaten and enjoyed. Be careful because it's extremely sticky. Now this sounds fun. So you get like two little wooden sticks and then this container <laughs> with the green stuff in it. I got it finally! Ugh. There's no instructions or anything, so I think it's pretty much, you know, sticky stick in and like, good luck. <laughs> oh my god, it really is! It is super, like, 
Oh my god. I've just got the stick in there and I'm twirling it and it looks so cool. I can't really smell anything, but I'm going to assume it's just going to be like sugar. Oh my god, this is so cool. So this is what it looks like. Mmm. <laughs> Super smooth, really sticky, really thick, amazing green apple flavor. I'm probably gonna give this a four. It lost points because I couldn't open the package for so long, <laughs> but it tastes really good. Green apple is a really nice flavor to have. Kind of reminds me of when like, you're doing glass blowing. The next item is this guy. This is in the regular package. It is the Real Grape Jelly Bean Mystery. These unique jelly beans are loaded with grape flavor and will pack a punch of either sweet or sour in every bite. It is a gamble what variation of flavor each candy bean holds, so eat with care and try to enjoy the mystery of such a cool snack. It sounds like a mildly safer version of Bean Boozled. Real sugary grape flavor smell. So these are the grapes here. The middle one looks like it's a different color. So maybe that'll help. I'm gonna go for the darker ones. Mm. Perfect, plain grape flavor. Consistency is of a jelly bean, but then actually kind of turns into more of a chewy kind of thing. But as you keep going, it does melt away. It doesn't actually stay as a chewy. I'm gonna try the other colored kind of faded purple color because I'm thinking this might be the sour. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, the Japanese do sour really well. Oh, yeah. Okay, the consistency is different for the ones that are sour. But on the inside, once you bite through it, which is what I did, it's real jelly-like, real, real squishy, real fast. I'm actually gonna give these a four and a half, only because I don't like sour things, so they lose a 0.5 of that. <laughs> Our next item is from the small box. It's seven stick chocolate cream. This chocolatey biscuit snack is called the seven stick chocolate cream and it is absolutely delicious. Enjoy chocolate cream surrounded by crunchy and sweet vanilla wafer cookies for an ultimate chocolate fix snack you can enjoy anywhere. Mmm, it smells so good. The wafer looks really good. Kinda reminds me of the Kinder Surprise wafer ones. The br Brain Bruno. <laughs> Simple wafer biscuit with a small detailed design on it. Mmm, awesome crunch. The chocolate's a bit overpowering though. The vanilla wafer kind of brings it back a bit, so if it was just the chocolate itself, I probably wouldn't like it, but the vanilla, yeah. I give these guys a four. This is our next item, and as you can see down the bottom over here, there is a little packet attached to it. It comes in the regular box, and it's the Maragame noodle made pretzel tempura over udon. Based off the renowned noodle shops of Maragume, Japan, this tasty snack is a pretzel form of noodles we think you'll enjoy. Enjoy each bite as the traditional Japanese flavors emerge and be surprised. It doesn't tell me what to do with this small pack. I feel like I probably should be like pouring it over the pretzels maybe? My god that smells so good. I'm gonna open these small packets though. Oh boy, it has got like, it's a little powder in there. Oh my god, that smells so bad. No, 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 no. Okay, let me just try it. I don't even know if I'm going to eat that. Let me try one of these guys first without this on it. Mmm, yum, yum. It's so good. It's a vanilla pretzel kind of thing, but then that seasoning that they've got over it just tastes like chicken and vegetable stock in powdered form poured over it. Oh. So right now, as of right now, I would give these guys a five. <laughs> I'm going to try it with this on it, and yeah. I'm only going to put it on one though, because I don't want to ruin the rest of them. I can tell you right now though, the smell is repulsive, but it kind of smells like cleaning products. It doesn't make it better. I get like a tang of it at the end. I'm not even sure what that tang's meant to be. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. If I had to give this guy his own rating, it'd be a zero. I don't know. I feel like my tongue is tingling. What if it was cleaning products? <gasps> no, it wouldn't have been, but. <laughs> so this is the 
Kintsuba Yokin. It's a special item in the premium box. It's a traditional sweet bean jelly snack made from traditional Japanese gelatin called Kintsuba Yokin. This delicious candy has been popular for well over 500 years in Japan and loved by young and old. These snacks are often served in traditional Kyoto tea houses, so when you bite into one of these, you will be enjoying a delicious piece of Japanese culture. Okay, so this sounds exciting, and I'm hoping it really does <laughs> fix what happened with the last one. <laughs> this is huge! It smells like pomegranate. Okay, because I like to be weird, I'm gonna use the other stick and like carve out a piece. So here's a close up. You can see the gelatin kind of look on top. And then underneath. Okay, I'm a little worried. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I don't like it at all. I don't know. I think it's the consistency and then the flavor. It's sweet. It kind of tastes like you're eating a flower with pomegranate. And then, I don't know, maybe red beans after it? I just, it's relatively smooth. You do get a bit of a greeny kind of texture to it, but it slides down your throat pretty quickly. And I know, I'm glad that it did. I'm, I'm glad it's gone by. <laughs> so I'm gonna give this guy a half Cooper, only because it's a traditional Japanese dessert. This is the second DIY kit. It's chocolate flour rice cakes. This delicious rice cake candy kit is made from real flour and flavored with rich chocolate and you will not find anywhere else. This treat resembles the famous cake Kinako Mochi during the new year in Japan. From the images on here, it looks promising. I can't wait to make it. The next item is Pokemon pretzels. These tasty pretzels are always popular among children and adults especially those who are fans of Pokemon. These snacks are white cream coated to ensure that you will have a full on flavor experience in your mouth. Uh, this comes in the premium crate. And on the back it's really cute because it's got like two images and you gotta find what's the same and what's different. Oh, they're kind of like Pocky. Okay, I'm getting interested in this now. <gasps> Did I tell you guys I found a place where you can get strawberry Pocky? I'm like, yeah. It's so good. You can see on the packet that it's got like little Pikachus, but this is what they look like. <laughs> this is delicious. The white chocolate on the outside kind of mellows out the more chocolatey flavor that the sticks give you. Tastes almost exactly like Pocky. Um, the sticks themselves just are a basic biscuit with a slight chocolate flavor to it. So I give these guys a five. Definitely a five. It was delicious. I enjoyed it and the theme is amazing. <laughs> oh god, this is wasabi pretzels. Not green tea at all. These awesome biscuit sticks are both crispy and zesty with a powerful wasabi bang in each bite. Enjoy these elements that may surprise and delight you as you partake in such a unique biscuit treat. Alrighty then, let's just rip it off like you would a band-aid. Not getting a dangerous smell. They are green. For a sec there I kind of thought, oh this smells now more like a chicken biscuit. But no 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 spicy tongue burning oh my god these guys can get it get a one just because it's gonna be fun when I take it into work and make other people eat it. Oh thank god it's a drink it is the drink and it comes in the premium box it's Poco Sapporo Pudding Shake. One part pudding, another part beverage. You can enjoy it on the go if you wish. This sweet jelly is made from eggs and caramel pudding. Shake about five times before taking a sip, then enjoy the unique texture paired with its very sweet and creamy flavors in the snack. Okay, so shake five times and then drink. I really need a drink. It really does smell like a pudding. Like custardy. It smells like custard. Actually feels really good on my tongue. <laughs> um, but it, it pretty much tastes like a more 
liquid version of a caramel custard. This is delicious though, so I give this guy a 5 out of 5 for this one. Oh, there's a few more items I missed. Okay, so we have, we have these guys, these are called Poiful. It's a unique jelly bean of Japan with a thin outer coating and the interesting flavours of soda, melon and other assortments that will leave you satisfied and yet wanting more. And it has a little opening that you can get them to come out of. Right, I'm going to try the pink one. Really sweet. Wait, like, really sweet. That was like a raspberry flavor. The jelly bean, like the jelly part of it is real kind of gelatin kind of jelly consistency. So these guys, I'm gonna give them a five as well. I actually really enjoyed these. <laughs> the last item is adorable. It's a little lion. Look at him, isn't he cute? This comes in a small box. It's chocolate animal poo. This hilarious candy resembles animal droppings that pop from the box as the animal will were relieving themselves. In Japanese tradition, you can see what sort of luck you have each day by the color in which the candies are released. <laughs> it really does have like a little thing at the back of it for its poo. That is awesome. This is... Oh, uh, like if the taste is good, this is like the winner for the day. My favorite item. <gasps> you know, really, little, oh my god, this is great. I can't get my poo out. My poo is stuck. Oh, oh. two little balls. Not poo shaped at all. Nor colored like poo, like those chocolate things were earlier. I'm gonna eat the pepper one. Really kind of crunchy. Um, that was great flavor. I'm not sure if you're meant to bite them though. It kind of like. It feels like it's meant to be like a gobstopper with like a hollow point though, but still yum. I think it's more funny than it is with the deliciousness. There was no smell coming from it, thankfully. <laughs> but I think the hilariousness of what they're selling is probably what would get it the most points. So I'm going to give our lovely little lion here, I'm gonna give him say a three and a half. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed some rather interesting kind of reactions today. This has had a lot more negative ones than positive, um, but it's been a lot of fun anyway just to try it. I'm really thankful for this drink though, because that, that wasabi, uh-uh. If you'd like to get your hands on your own Tokyo treat box, I will leave a link in the description so you can go and check it out yourself. Remember the exchange rate, but free shipping, so that kind of helps. Otherwise, until I see you next time, you guys take care of yourself and Cooper out. <laughs> oh, well that was actually a pretty good shot. Lovely, that's green paint. Look at the green paint. <laughs>